Hello again. We're going to talk about the uh, fifth VOC report. And let's just talk about all five of them. Um, in a general way, Lisa was just giving me trouble because she hasn't read the whole way through the report. And I just read it this morning over coffee. Three cups. That's why I'm kind of wired today. Uh, what I get out of this, there are a couple things. Um, I've said this before, but they insist on using RCC. The slope is inappropriate for RCC. Uh, bedding into crevices of rock doesn't lend itself to RCC. Well, dental work should be done, which is filling of those crevices in the rock with a really, really um, highly viscous grout. That should be sealed and that should be bedded well. Why not use concrete? Um, I don't understand. RCC has a place. And the place for RCC is someplace where there is not violent, um, very high velocity water. That is a place that potentially it will see violent, very high velocity water. And the argument would be, well, well, the actual sluice way we're going to build out of concrete and this is just the base. Why are you doing this, guys? What if the sluice way goes walking again like it has in the past? Then you expose this RCC. Um, taking back the, the extreme uh, cutback erosion that, that took place uh, to the left, looking downstream from the spillway, heading toward the embankment, coincidentally. Um, I don't understand the blasting. I, I think it's inappropriate. I don't understand laying those banks back. I think it's inappropriate. Um, I would be filling that with concrete. I would be uh, using the rock that's there. Another thing that was mentioned was the bars, they called them, to anchor this down. Now, I'm assuming that these people have learned from their experiences that they need to use proper rock anchors. So I assume when they say bars, they really mean proper rock anchors deep enough through that slab to anchor into competent rock, not some bar grouted in five feet deep. Not reinforcing bar. Not right, bar. right. I'm, I'm assuming that they really mean rock anchors that are competent rock anchors, hopefully that are that are pulled to tension. But, and anchored in competent right. rock. And Well, that's it's not an anchor <laughs> if it's not. You know, this idea of grouting a bar five feet deep, that's already been proven to be a failure mode. So let's not do that again. But the main thing that concerns me, and this is why I wasn't worried about you reading the report the whole way through. The main thing that concerns me is the theory. We have this huge liability right now hanging over our heads like an anvil hanging by a piece of dental floss. And we're all sitting underneath it, hoping that nothing bad happens. But something bad might happen. Only one storm's required here. We have this window of time, potentially, to make a repair that will bring the liability to pass so that we're secure again. And we opt to rebuild the bottom half of the sluiceway. The entire concept of allowing the top half of a tenuous structure to remain in place for a long period of time. With voids underneath it. With voids underneath it, with incompetent anchors, with fill underneath it that's inappropriate, that's actually clay fill. And with cracks. And with the structure itself showing foundation problems to the point of the, the trunnion supports cracking and failing to the point of the rock anchors failing. And what we want to do is go down the hill and build the bottom of it, make it really nice. Well, the bottom of it doesn't help us any. We could run the thing with only the top half working forever and be safe. But instead, we're going to go in this period of sunshine and no rain, and we're going to build the bottom of it. This is, there must be some reason. I can't imagine what that reason could be. Why would you do that? Well, it's also the end of May, basically. And the, the contract was let in mid-April. All they've done is put some equipment on site and blast, and, and the clock is ticking to November well, 1st. Well, everyone knows that they're not going to be done in nine months. Everyone knows that the promises made will not be kept. That's a foregone conclusion. 
Everyone knows that. Even if they succeed at everything they claim they're going to do, which they will not, um, we would only have half a spillway that was operational, and it's the wrong half. And that's what blows my mind. And, you know, I might be wrong. There might be something here that I don't understand. I, I don't think so. The gate structure needs reconstructed, and the sluiceway needs reconstructed from the top down. Would it not be prudent to step over, take a chunk of the, the emergency spillway, OG Weir, and build an entire new gate structure on the top of that and sluiceway the whole way down to the river? Why are we rebuilding where this thing was? Why not find competent rock and construct a sluiceway starting at the top and working toward the bottom so that if we don't get it done before the next storm event, we can open the gates and it, and it only erodes some rock toward the bottom of the sluiceway where it's not competent and completed. And that's something they could have started at the end of April, basically. They could be doing it now. It should be right. well underway now. It should be well underway. Um, this, this excuse that there aren't enough people and machinery to do this is only an excuse. There are not enough people available from the union hall to do it. And that's why they're working eight hours instead of 24 hours. But the unions are required to supply the people under their contract. So perhaps we need to add some non-union people in there, second and third shift. That should be running 24 hours. It should be running from the top to the bottom. If someone knows some reason that I'm wrong here, I really want to know because I truly don't understand that. Well, and they won't die if the dam fails. The construction people won't die, most likely, if the <clears> dam fails. But you guys will. So, or you may. So it is incumbent on you to insist on three shifts, to insist that literally everything is done to ensure your safety. And running one shift and commenting on limited resources does not cut it for a project like this. Yeah. We know from the North Dakota oil boom and Texas and many others that where there is good work available, good paying work, people will come. The resources can be made available. Maybe they won't be union. Maybe they won't be whatever. But you can rest assured a whole bunch of talented workers will be in their cars headed west if they know that they can work there. Yeah. It, it needs to be done, and it needs to be done properly. And, I, you know, I, I look forward to uh, the people who are paid to be trolls Instead of instead of calling me names and questioning my reasoning and and why I'm doing this and all these kind of things or my competence, I mean, which is a, a matter of record and my experience, which is also a matter of record. Rather than doing that, answer that question for me. Why are we starting at the bottom and working up on a failed spillway instead of working from the top and working down? I don't understand that. So you can teach me here. I want to know why, because I don't get it. If we only had the gate structure built the next storm, at least we could open that. We'd have huge erosion, but if it was properly founded, at least we'd have the gate structure, maybe a little piece of sluice way. We'd be better than we are now. With a construction that is contracted done, we are no safer. That makes no sense to me. And quite frankly, I think there are issues with that gate structure. I know what they are, and I think you know what they are. And I think that's Im irresponsible that, that we're not being level about that. There are some issues with that gate structure. Anybody who reads the state inspection reports will readily see that. They're mentioned year after year after year. They don't fix the cracks. They don't epoxy the cracks. They don't do anything about the cracks except paint a line across them. So as Mr. B right. said, they can better visualize one side moving against the other. The, it's just charting, right. charting the depth of the water on the deck right. of the Titanic. It's ridiculous. The trunnions are failing. The radial arms are racking. The, the, the surfaces are galling. Come on, guys. We need a new gate structure. That is the, the most probable failure is the gate structure. And the sluice way immediately downstream of that. That's on fill as was the last piece of sluice that failed. I don't understand. I don't understand where you're throwing hundreds of millions of dollars at this and it's no safer now than it was when you started. Why not do the things that's going to make this dam safer? So that's an answer I'd like. Thanks so much.